Når solen skinner og himlen er blå, ikke? Altså, se folk, folket kommer ud. Det er Københavns flotteste musik, vi kører over her. Der går nok også bare en gennemskud. Det er så fedt. Det er så fedt. Hello guys, right now we are heading to a meeting with, um, with a bunch of uh, great people, including myself and Oliver, who's holding the camera, and also Hans Christian Wiedinghus, Jesper Hågaard, who is... Uh, uh, Sagen Fjell Femme? Fjell. Jesper, Jesper Hågaard, who is um, one of my good friends and uh, my former manager, but I fired him a few years ago. And um, my second cameraman, Anders Tegger. What's up? Det var øh, selvfølgelig rigtig ærgerligt, og ikke øh, måden, man har lyst til at vinde øh, en turnering på. Mm. Og om 10 år, så nå, hvis du kigger mit CV igennem, så står der jo selvfølgelig, at jeg er europamester, men det føles sgu ikke sådan lige nu. Øhm, og, og slå Victor havde ligesom været det, der gjorde, gjorde titlen øh, legit, men øhm, ja, det skete ikke. Jeg ved ikke rigtig, hvad jeg skal sige til det. Det er bare, det er bare en, en super ærgerlig måde at vinde på, synes jeg. Ja, så altså jeg, jeg skal ud og, have noget, øh, ud og have noget god mad med nogle af mine venner i aften og, øh, og et glas vin. Uh, men, men mere fejring bliver det nok ikke til. Det bliver ikke skralde bankfest og, øh, og cigarer, som, som vi plejer at gøre. <laughs> Selvfølgelig skal vi lige ud og, og fejre en lille smule, men ja, det, det bliver forholdsvis for lov. Yes, I can see you. But I can see you. Um, start video. I just pushed. Okay. Where? Hello. Hi. Hi. We would like to change another uh, process because we wanted your way for account can be more uh, can be can post more frequently. Ah, uh, but the the problem is that when. Oliver make a video, we release it immediately. Mm -mm, okay. Yeah. I understand. So maybe we can just try to uh, do it as soon as possible, as mm. fast as possible. But maybe it will be like one or two days later. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Okay. Because I think also it's important that it's um, that it it gets published fast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, because if we're doing, you know, like a tournament uh, vlog, yeah. we have a new vlog out every day sometimes. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, yeah. if the first vlog comes out before the semi-final, it doesn't really make sense. If it takes two days to get the subtitles on, I think it's the video is, uh, I mean, already, already dead. I think, I think it's important that, that, yeah. that, we'll, that, that we'll, we let the fans know that you guys are helping me um, posting and translating. I can make it and send it to you, and then you can translate it and, and put it on his Weibo. And then, you know, they, they get like this exclusive clip where they know, okay, that must be Anas' own profile because no one else has that clip. Mm. And I don't want you guys to respond on behalf of me. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, this is just the best we can do, but yeah, they also need to know that 
you guys helped me and that's why I am able to write it in Chinese at, at times and yeah, stuff okay. like that. That's great guys. Uh, talk to you soon. Yep. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a gym session. As you can see here, the Team Denmark gym is filled with hardworking athletes. Not so much today. I'm out here on my own putting the work in. Typically, I would have my strength coach here as well, making sure that I do everything according to plan. But I showed up a little bit late today. Actually, it's my fault. So he couldn't make it. So I'm here by myself. Anyways, these are some of my um, favorite practices during the week, actually. Um, I usually have two or three gym sessions, typically three. Um, and I find them really, really important. Actually, even more important than, than, my, than my badminton practices. We have Jonathan Grot here in the, in the background. I'm not so happy with that, so I just turn a little bit. I don't know. Someone else up there. So, uh, let's go, I guess. Yeah, as I said earlier, these gym sessions is really important to me. And I will definitely recommend you if you are a badminton player or an athlete just doing some sport that you take your, your strength practices very, very seriously because they are important for preventing injuries, making you faster, making you jump higher, smash harder, everything. And as always, the weather is perfect here in Denmark. It's only raining a little bit. So uh, yeah, it's great. Nothing to complain about. It's perfect. I love this place. Mr. Fans. <laughs> It'll miss this passion. It'll miss the fans. Miss the fans and the passion. Miss the pains. <laughs> miss the, the passion from the fans. Yeah, we roll. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, um, you probably don't know this, but I have a, a passion for watches. But right now I'm in the process of selling a watch instead of buying one for once. Because I also have another passion for stocks. And um, I'm at the moment I'm quite into cryptocurrency and uh, I would rather Invest some money instead of um, instead of spending them on watches at the moment. This is a part of, of growing up. In the beginning, you would like materialistic things, and later on, you start getting a little bit more wise and um, and thinking about long-term investments and that's where I'm at at the moment so I'm selling this watch it's a Rolex Submariner nicknamed Hulk very very nice watch
Yeah, and it's about to leave the collection of watches. So guys, I have decided in the future of the vlogs, I will be more willing to open up about my own life and um, just really give you guys an insight of what I'm doing and uh, talk about stuff that you might not want to share with uh, many people, but I've decided to to do it anyway, to make it more interesting and um, to get, give you guys a better view or insight in, in the person that I am and what I spent and how I spend my time. I have been co collecting watches in the past. It's been a hobby of mine. Yeah, I have a watch here that I'm not using. Therefore, I wanted to sell it and um, invest the money instead. Because the thing is that, you know, as an athlete, you only have a limited amount of years to earn your money. You want to make sure that you are set up for the next chapter of, chapter of your life. And um, therefore, I'm starting to, to be a little bit more wise with my decisions, and with my investments and stuff like that. Yeah, as mentioned, this was a watch that I bought a few years ago, but I haven't been wearing it for a while. I've just been in, in the bank safe. I do not have watches in my apartment, so I do not want to get broken into or robbed or shut up on the block. I just... I just uh, phrased uh, an Eminem song, I did. So we just locked in a deal actually, watch is sold, it's leaving, which is a little bit sad, but it's um, it's better that another guy starts using it because I have not been wearing it for a while.